Hey guys, welcome to the stream. My webcam's not webcam. Hello? Webcam? Are you there? Huh. Webcam acting fishy. Fishy fish fish. Wonder what could have happened. Ooh, let's, uh, okay, where is video capture? Gotta be here somewhere. Video capture device. Just add a new one. I don't know why it's... Bugging. Hmm. Maybe I have to turn off my webcam and turn it back on. How do I do that? Ah, uh, there we go. Webcam. Okay. Oh. Ooh, we're in business. You can see my big face. Um. How do I fix this? There we go. Well, me to be centered. That's right. Now I'm in the center of the attention. Yep. Um, I need to... Oh, that works. Nice. Okay. What do we have here? Let's get the game up and running. Uh... Oh, the game's loading. Oh. Well, while we're waiting for that, um. What can we do? We could, uh. Hmm. Ugh. Um. Well, let's just wait for the game to load. That's always fun. Right, guys? I feel like I was underprepared for this. This might have been. But who cares now, am I right? It's not like... Anything that can be done now. Now all we just have to do is sit back and relax as uh, the game plays itself, one might say. <laughs> one might say. Synchronizing Steam. There we go. I can tell you right now, this is, uh, 
video options. Ninety twenty by ten eighty anti-aliasing. Let's go with times two. Direct three three d nine. Let's go with ah. Everything's breaking. And so tropic any so tropic filtering. I don't know what that is. I'm leaving it alone. I'm just not even gonna touch it. Okay. Gamepad. Dual shock. Ooh. Dual shock is a trademark of Sony. Product isn't licensed by Sony. Whoa, okay. We got all that set up. Now we can get the game capture. Right? Yes, I do believe so. Hmm. Cursor speed, skip text off. Can't hear anything. That's weird. There's supposed to be audio here. Guess we'll find out. Hmm. Look, like there is supposed to be audio. Let's try that again. No audio. That is weird. Well, let's get started then and see if the audio fixes itself. I'm sure you want to save here? Yes. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and there are two modes of play, novel and adventure. You can switch in and out of each. Oh, hey, the audio. Oh. This is too loud. Nine. Eight. It's a countdown. Yep, it is pretty loud. Right. So there's a boat, and there's a countdown. You know what that means, right? Three, two, one. I, uh, Return to the past now. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Menu. A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. Um, let me, uh, let me save over the prologue. Yep. Perfect. Now, can I s go? Ooh, ooh, look at this. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. I want to go back and, uh, mess with the audio. How do I quit? Novel screen. Oh. Junpei. He's, uh... He's... He's, uh... Uh, he's... He's the protagonist guy. Guys, uh... Wh what the... As they adjusted to the light, he realized... Ow! With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his head to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Whoa! whoa. 
His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Jinpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. What the hell? The bed? I fell pretty far. <clears throat> I gotta get a... <clears throat> Uh, uh, it's, it's me, um, the main, the main character guy. Hey guys, how's it going? Main character guy here. I fell pretty far. That really hurt. Uh, damn. My eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait, that's not it. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. Anyway... Where am I? This game is so quiet. I feel like I did something wrong. Wait, it stopped? There should be more audio somewhere, I feel like. What's that sound? Yeah, I'm, uh... Not sure. Let's save this. Turn to the tile screen. Hmm. Voice. A lot of good voice does, you know? <sighs> Too bad I can't test it. Man, that's the problem with older games. Oh. Oh well. Um. Let's resume, I guess. Wait. It stopped? Ooh. Ooh, I can switch. Oh. Hmm. I think this is better. Let's go with this. What's that sound? What is that sound? Number five. That's the number five. Five. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey, hello. Is anyone there? Open the door. Oh, that's um, probably not how he said that. Huh. What the hell is this? Ooh, the number five. A watch? Hmm. Doesn't look like one. Five. That's the same as the door. How do I take this off? Okay, this is... Uh, voice acting's fun and all, but let's just stick with my normal voice. Because why not? Maybe pushing something on this will work. Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? Why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Bleh. Ah, my head. Oh. This is... Hold on. Am I on a ship? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the? You gotta be kidding me. What the hell is going on here? Ooh. Ooh. That's a... That's a problem. It's a... How are we going to deal with that? Novel. You see, what you see here is the puzzle, the branching paths and the puzzles. Eh, it will all make sense in due time. Anyways, what? The water. 
Hey, anyone? Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out. And fast. First objective, seek a way out. Ooh. Third class cabin. Interesting. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use a cursor to select a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use LB or RB to walk around. Left stick controls. Move the left stick during an escape to use the cursor. Press X to speed up the movement. Press A to search where the cursor is placed. Okay. Water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think it's... I don't think it's shoving something into the window is gonna help stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Oops. What's this? A bulletin board? I would not have guessed. Looks like some someone put a note on it. About item. Once you've tamed an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Pressing Y will take you to the item screen. Interesting, we got a... You know... We got, we got a red triangle. We got a blue triangle. We got an open triangle. And we got an arrow pointing right. Um, what does it mean? A combine? Oh, I forgot about that. The notes got blah blah and blah blah in blue and red. What's the item? The items, the item visible on the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Press the up D-pad to quickly change between items. Okay. That's a picture frame. We're on a boat. Old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping it the back on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> a bulletin board. There's nothing on it. There's nothing on the shelf. It doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. This is the only drain in this room. How do I... Oh, I somehow forgot about that. I don't, I don't know, my brain's weird. It's a pipe. I know. I'll crawl into the pipe and find a way out. There's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. Oh, I'm a little teapot and stout. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of it here was that easy to open. Hmm. You know? What if we turn on some chill music while we do this? Some, uh... Hmm. Our loaf is chill lo-fi, uh... POS safe. Let's find out. Oh. This looks good. 
we'll just have this running in the background. Then we can have a bit of background noise while we try and figure out the puzzles. Right. Hope it's not too loud, hope it's not too quiet. I think it's perfect. It might be a little loud. Should be fun. Okay. Ah, the stove. The mystery of whether or not this stove has been used before. What's this? It looks red. Ooh! We got... We just got a screwdriver. We just got a screwdriver. We just got a screwdriver. And I know how to use it. Combine that with that. Well, screwdriver got the screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. Ho oh, ho! Yo! Okay. So the code is um seven four six three. Seven four six three. Combining items. Select combining on the screen to combine two items. If the two items can be combined, you will receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Turn out different combinations of items you find in your search. Hmm. Ooh. A red suitcase. There are some hangers on the pole. Nice. Oh, ooh. What is the code? There's a lock on this briefcase. It won't budge. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Let's see. The code was seven four six three. Seven four six three. Seven four six three. I guess we'll come back to the the Oh, I'm gonna need a key. Okay. It's a closet. A blue suitcase. Is this one just like the red briefcase? This one's probably just like the red briefcase. Small keyhole. If I want to open, I need the key. I need the key. How about... I keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Damn. Isn't there anything else I can use? There's a blue briefcase. There's a pipe. There's nothing on top. Ooh, what's this? Small red key. Small red key. I wonder if it goes to the red briefcase. I should probably hold on to this. Huh. What's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... and... What happened? I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Man, work was rough today. Huh. A breeze. That's weird. Do not leave that open. Everything seems to be okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Nobody would have snuck into my house and be hiding in my closet right now. No way. I must have forgotten to close the window. Huh? What? Who are... Ah! I can't... Ooh, tear gas. Or sleep gas. <laughs> sleep gas makes more sense. Um... Consider this a privilege you have been chosen. You are going to participate. Oh, wait, no. <clears throat> Would you like to play a game? You are going to participate in a game. 
the Nonary game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy was the with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him, well, I guess there's no way to know if that's that was a man or not. Just who was that? It said, you've been chosen. Wow, this game really got its pronouns straight. There's no way of knowing if that's a man. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in a game. Uh, it's, um... The Nonary game. N nunary. Nonary. What the hell is a Nonary game? Nonary game. Hmm. Nothing, nothing left on the mirror. Oh, this is a mirror. How did... Oh... I guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red, and the display hasn't changed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. that. <sighs> to, to me, when I, I read that word, it was just damn knit. It's just like, what? why the hell isn't this thing opening? Let's let's uh, turn up the beat. We got the beat. We got the beat. I need to add chill vibes to a uh, stream. Yeah, let me just go ahead and add chill vibes. Here we go. Puzzle game. Puzzle game. Okay. Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? What does it mean indeed? Bed. Well, I can't reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh? Damn. Nothing here. Ooh. Okay. The notes got blue, blue, in blue, and red, red, and red. There's an arrow that goes all the way across the paper. It's red under... It's red... You know? That's nice and all. Can't see from down here. It's pretty high up there, and I'm scared of heights. Ugh, they're, they're scary. All right, let's figure this out. Let's see. I think what this means is uh, looking at the line across. That's the second half of the red code. So let's solve the red code first. Red is seven, four, Eight five seven four eight five. We don't have the blue key anyway, so seven four eight five. Seven four eight five. We got the red key. Sweet. All right, let's stick the red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, all right, I'll take that back. I guess I can move the dial now and then turn the key. I'll do that. This thing should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. Mini games! During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by using L and A. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing. Operation instruction: press the dial, cause the move, enter four numbers. If the numbers are correct, we'll unlock 7583. 7583. 7. Five, eight, three. Hmm. It's 
It's not opening. Okay, what did I do? Hmm. Seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Let's go. Seven, four, eight, five. Haha! <laughs> Genius brain. Yes, I unlocked it. It's opening. There's a stack of red key cards in the briefcase. One. Looks like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Interesting. Where is the blue key? Nothing inside. There is the blue key. Key. Yep, that's a key, all right. A little blue one. Okay, and the code for blue is um zero two six three zero two six three zero two six three. We are looking for a 0263. Let's go. Z Oops. We want 0263. Right. And nothing. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the code. 0263. Wow. Ah, let's see if the numbers work. Turn the key in. Hey, look, it's working. Yes. All right, let's open it. Oh, it's a book. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in there will be available on the file screen. Press the right side button to open the file screen. Alright, let's see what's in this file. Hmm. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, Add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tenth place to the number in the ones place. Ah, keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit. Answer. No. The final single digit is your digital root. The digital root of 678 would be... I got this. 6 plus 7 plus 8. That would be 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 5 is 21. 2 plus 3. 3. <laughs> Therefore, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 is 3. Digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. I declare a thumb war. 5, 6, um, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. Uh, 1. Okay, therefore, that's one. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. Huh. A stack of blue key cards. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. We just learned that. That is, uh... Okay, let's do this again. 21, 3. It's 3. Does that mean something? 6, 7, 8, 3. The cards. Yep. So blue is 3. New material has been added. Calculator. Press the to calculate. Whoa. Calculator can also calculate a digital root, which would be important in progress to the end of the story. Ooh. Ooh, we get a calculator. We get a calculator. 6 plus 7. Plus 8 equals 21. Digital root. Whoa. Whoa. We don't have to do math. Um. Hmm. hmm. Kind of sucks that I'm covering up that screen here. Let's see. I can make this smaller. 
I think I'll do that. We'll take this and make it smaller. Why can't I move this? seem to edit this for some reason. Wonder why that is. All I want to do is make it smaller. sure what's happening but um let's try this I don't know why that was so tough. But I have it fixed now. Okay. We do this. Let's also get um Ah, oh, that's good. Let's add that in the back here. This is in the back. Sweet. We have our game right here. Okay. All good. Now I shouldn't be covering anything. People use okay. Hmm. Move this down. Ah, right. Now we can get back to the game. About digital roots. Trolls during an escape. Special functions, save, item screen, file screen controls, yeah. <clears throat> map, map screen, move the turn, blah 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 blah, bird's eye view. Calculator. 
Flow chart, skip tip one, skip tip two, skip tip three, skip tip four, skip tip five. Sweet. Let us go ahead and save. Okay, I'm sure you want to save. Yep. Nope, not return to the title. Alright. That's still bad. Let's see, what do we got here? Let's try blue. Pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide these cards and see if it works. And... Huh. It's not working. Why? Ah, uh, damn it. No, not... No, no, that's right. I still have cards I haven't used. <laughs> Good thinking, brain. Damn it. Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course. The files. The files said something about a digital root. Digital root. What am I supposed to do with... There's a five on the door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards to give me the digital root of five. Through the reader. Reading instruction, use blah 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 to select three cards. Digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Selecting a reset will deselect all current selected cards. After you've selected three cards, use that and select the device. Huh. Well, this is, uh, we need to get five, right? So, what is three plus six plus one? That's ten. Nope, that's not right. Two plus seven, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus six is fifteen. That gives us a six. Hmm. We need a five. One, two, three, that gives us six. S seven, three, that's ten. Six, that gives us seven. Eight plus three is eleven. Plus two is thirteen. Dang. Hmm. 7 plus 8, that is 15. So I'm going to want 7 plus 6. 7 plus 7 is 14, 7 plus 6 is 13. Haha. <laughs> so we want 6, 7, and 1. Ah, it's not working. Alright, I just need to pick the cut. Hmm. Well, I already know it's six, seven, one. Now what? Oh, I didn't flip. Okay. All right. I think this is gonna work. There we go. This—that's a new noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Well, the light was red, and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Save. Yep, we'll save. We'll probably want to make a backup save just in case. Okay. Ah, oh, we did it! One puzzle down. And the door opened. You found it. What? Ah, gah. Ow. Ah, my head. Wait, is it over? Oh, that felt so much like being flushed down the toilet. Damn. 
Oh, that's water. I didn't know what that was. Oh, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. The mystery of the second door. Damn, this water, let me go. Yes, it opened. Whoa, what the hell? This is the inside of a ship. Well. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Shit, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. <sighs> B deck. Hurry, hurry. Dex, A dex next. Whoa. What? People? A lot of people. Um. I guess there's another one of us now. Oh, without. Uh, a dancer? No, I'm not. You. <clears throat> Voices are hard. I don't know, what type of voice would you have? Ugh, oh, no I'm not! You better get moving! That doesn't seem right, who cares? Well, okay then. Silver hair? Eh? Huh. One of us, huh? What? Nothing. How do I do Brimstone's voice? I don't know, how do I do a deep voice? Going up will... Hmm. Uh... Hey guys. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but... How do you do a deep voice? Gotta... Gotta push down in your larynx or something. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Hold on, the doors won't open. Come on, aren't you coming? You gotta hurry. That's nine of us then. All of the cards in the hand. Wait, they're gone. Just what is going on here? There's an old man, like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Ooh. Um. Eh. Huh? Eh. Huh? What was that all about? Hey, what the hell? You're just, you're just standing there for... Didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear him? The doors on A deck are now good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. I need you Patrick's voice. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Got it, now go! Whoa. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four. And this one says... Five! That's insane! They're the same. Oh, they're the same? The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You... You too, eh? Uh, you too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather... Grand room full of stairs, as I suspect did the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yeah, we all saw the same thing. That's not important, we need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Ah, open, damn it. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. Oh, Owie. The body slam from 
that big a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. Four. But still. Uh, ah. Damn it. Are there any other doors? He had. Scar. Scrack. Scratch. Scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to the ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Oh. It's another person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confident, but he wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. Oh, where? It's the the the. Yeah, I'm. I I don't know. I, I was trying to say something and nothing came to mind. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. You know, I could have just said they met at school. Could have just said that. Could have. I could have said anything actually. But instead, I just ended up saying, blah, 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 blah. you know. The girl too stared at Jinpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Without saying a word, Jinpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. I wonder what type of magic spell. As Junpei stepped on her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Ah, that's, um, it's no good. Ah, the quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Ooh, she fell. I wonder what that means. Watch out! Moving on, instinct. Jinpei leapt to catch her. Whoa, who could have saw that coming? Or so he thought. Oh, her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Eh, he was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another, and then the ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceiling, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick muffling blanket. At last a girl opened her mouth. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jinpei? Jinpei! Jinpei! Her words echoed through Jinpei's j jumpy, jump, jumpy, and suddenly his memories returned. A kin Ak Akin Ekins It's Ekins Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Ak Ekins Kurashiki. She and Jinpei had been friends in childhood. They had gone to elementary school together for six years. Six of them. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. They st his, his words started to bubble up like soda pop. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment, they died. Oh, welcome aboard. I welcome you all from the bottom of my heart to this, to this, my vessel. What? A 
What's that voice? I am Zero, the captain of the ship. I'm also the person who invented inv invented you here. <laughs> I invented you right here. This is that guy in the gas mask. Whoa, who who could have guessed if I wasn't doing my you wanna play a game voice? Ah, hey, eh, eh. hey, Essel, what the hell is this? Come on, come out here. I wanna get a good look at ya. What what do you mean to do to us? I mean to have you participate in a game. Some of you know. Some of you I know are familiar with this game. The Nonari game. It is a game where you put your life on the line. Nonari game? What the hell is that? The rules of the Nonari game can be found upon your persons. They are simple rules. Read them. What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this. <clears throat> there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I got, I got one too. We will call them the number doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. You are a, the key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelet and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of the, that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. The purpose of this game is simple. Leave this chip alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. We gotta find the nine. We gotta find the number nine. <clears throat> then it would seem zero. Then it would seem zero has. I don't know how to do this guy's voice. I wish I could do a deep voice. Then it would seem. Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? <coughs> yeah, that voice is hard. On the ship, you'll find a handful of doors, numbers, we'll call them number doors, the door in front of you, blah, 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 blah. The key to open in the door, and the sheet to total the number, and the bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of the doors, and the door will open. Only those who have opened the doors may pass through. There are however limits. Only three to five people can pass. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet, not a watch. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave the ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out, seek a door that carries a nine. There is one last thing I must tell you. There is there is one last thing I must tell you. As you have no doubt surmised, the ship has begun to sink. On April 14th, 1912, the famous ocean liner Titanic crashed into an iceberg. No, not the Titanic. After remaining afloat for two hours and 40 minutes, it sank beneath the water of the North Atlantic. I will give you more time. Nine hours. That is the time you will be given to make your escape. Nine hours? Nine doors? Nine persons. Roll credits. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. What time is it? It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then. Uh, ring nine times, so nine o'clock then. I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If... You know what, I'm just... This, this voice needs to be easier. If that's the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Now, it is time... 
Let our game begin. I wish you all the the best of luck. <laughs> yes, the best of luck. Do it. Hey, you bastard. What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole. Uh, that is not the voice I gave him. That guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Hmm. <laughs> Phew. I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the Nonari game? What is it for? Is he some nut job doing this just to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Anyway, and why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others, why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Ekans here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. There's always a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be one. Perhaps the reason is there is no reason. I, I I know what Lion's voice is in my head. I just can't do it. Uh, it's... Very well. That's, that's close. Standing around here won't do us any good. The best we get moving, don't you think? Getting moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait. Don't tell me you're actually going to do what this Zero says. No, no. That's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We? What? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah. We were kind of in a rush, though, so we probably missed something. Why don't we check out the lower floor first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can, I can work with that. Then let's go. Yeah, that voice is much easier. Sea deck. Water. Whoa! What the hell is completely submerged? Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See, the water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point... F no point to wishful thinking. <laughs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Uh, looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. You're right. I think we should look at the metal door by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on them either, and I don't see any authentication device either. Nope, it's locked. Uh, this one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. This one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey old man, give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Ugh. Ugh. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. Doesn't appear to have moved, even with two of us trying. <sighs> very well 
It's very well made. Idiots, try using your brain first. Hmm. Take a closer look. The door is locked. A keyhole. Right, it's obviously what we need to open this door. A key. A key, huh? You got a problem? Nah. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. What's this? There's a mark on the door. Does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. Oh. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. There's a strange mark here, too. What is this? Looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. And the mark on the, the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbol on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? I must have. I haven't been there, so I wanted to know. We may as well check again, since we're talking about it. Voices are hard. There, the two door. There, the two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is the Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical line represents the prime meridian. Whoa, somebody knows what a prime meridian is. That's insane. What's a prime meridian? I see. Ah, the ceiling. Metal plates. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it's a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We need a lot of explosives to open that up. <coughs> explosives. Windows, too. They're all covered. In other words... We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere, and we just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just don't open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what's would, what point would there be? And we can open them, well, two of them at least. Four and five. You mean the... N you mean the numbered doors? Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes. I am in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, the ship's going to sink. Hmm. Hey, shut up. Before we try to decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you... Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jump, Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends, and I call her Ekans. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. It was probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. 
If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had him to get us to do stuff, you know? But well, we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. Ugh. All right then, why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll just pick something. Like, we'll be seven. Seven? Why are you? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No. Well, San means three, so I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your, then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Yo, it's Ace. I'll be Lotus then, is it? I'm sure you all know it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is per particularly relevant, given that I am blind. Whoa, he's blind? You can't see? I knew it. Me next. I want to be Clover. You know, like, Black Clover. <laughs> Uh, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Well, you're the five. All right, my number is five. You know what that means, right? Five. You can call me uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. His name is Cinco. So my code name is gonna be... I have one. It's not like there's any point to do it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Jinpei. Oh. Then you should all call me by my name, too, because, I mean, it does seem... It doesn't seem f fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. What's your bracelet number? It's six. Alright, then, why don't we call you June? Ooh, that's like January, February, March, April, May, and June. Aha! Like the number six. June. June. Yeah, you know, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy. Are you good with that? Yeah. Okay then. June and Jumpy. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. You know him, you love him. Two is Snake. What a what a devious snake. Three is Santa. Yep, it's funny because he's got white hair. Four is Clover, like Black Clover. Five is me, like Junpei. Six is June. Seven is Seven. Eight is Lotus. That means that eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. Ah, we're missing the weirdo. The only one left is a glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. Then you know who number one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine. Yeah. What's your code name? C -c 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 code name? What do you want us to call you? We are, we all made up names. You should too. Uh, I don't need one. Why not? Because I'm not going to stay here with you. You got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah. What's that? 
You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. Ah. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? This is stay back. I got a knife, and I'm gonna stab this lady. What? If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Over. Are oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. Nine plus four. Doesn't I? What's his plan? You gotta get through the door number five, the door number four. Nine plus four. Nine, that gets you 13. Right? Okay, I get it. He's gonna go through the door number four. I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Oh, that was Patrick. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Ah. Uh, slowly, that's right. Oh, wait, nerd guy. Slowly, that's right, just follow me. I just use the same voice. Here, verify. Huh? Oh, left, look, on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Oh, oh my voice is dying. Ah. Eh. Place your hand on the scanner panel, or RAM panel. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think will happen? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. Hmm? Just do, do it now. Okay, I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. They call that round part of the device the scanner panel. We put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then, should you total the number on your bracelet and find that the digit of that digital root is equal to the number of the door, the door opens. Door 5. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. It's like he's been here before. Good. You're done. Next. You're right. You're the, you're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yeah, I am. So? And you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. Mm. What are you doing? Do it. Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay. Just calm down. I'm coming over. Now verify. Oh, is the other one the number six? Did I misremember? Five. Anyways, this is gonna be five. All right. This is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's number. Four and one. Four plus one equals five. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one number door. Three, five, five, six, seven, eight. This means one person is going to get left behind. People can pass through a one number door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Wait, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, five. Five and three is eight. Ooh, who does he need? Oh, I wonder. I get back. No further. More than that. Go all the way back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait, don't tell me. Over's four and ace is one. Add it to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. That is five. In other words. <laughs> ah, thank god you're all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Hmm. Good. I don't need you anymore. 
Yeah. Wait. Here, she's all yours. Ah. Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Oh, he's, done. he's a nerd. Clover, oh, you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I see. Well, that guy's probably dead. Um. Okay, let's figure let's figure this out. Probably don't need to, but um, there's eight of us. One through three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. There's a door number four, I believe, and a door number five. Uh, that bastard. Ugh. Ugh. Open, damn it. Shit, it won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. You're right, I can hear it too. What is it? Yeah, shit, why, why isn't it stopping? God damn it, you lied! Lied? This is what's supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. What is happening in there? Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me, please. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. God damn it. Engage. I want to work. Engage. Is it because it's occupied? There's no time left. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. Ah! Oh, that's the nerdy guy dead. That's ah, okay. We didn't like him anyways. He, uh, cost us a door. A beep. That thing just make that sound. The display changed from engaged to vacant. Ooh. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Five. Alright, register it registered my bracelet number. But I'm not open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? A, B, C. Well, you know, to do at a time like this, make a save here. And then you go ahead and you make a backup save. Now. Snake and Seven is an interesting choice. Santa and June is probably the best choice. Ace and Lotus. Mm. Okay, let's uh, let's just go with the top one then. Ace, Lotus, I think you could give me. Think you could give me a hand here. Mm. One eight. Five plus one plus eight is fourteen. Digit is five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna open it. The door opened. Oh my. Good god. Well, uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> he, he blew up. Ah! June, are you okay? What the hell? Where did this fever come from? Eh. Alright, let's just rest for a minute, okay? You think you can walk? 
Here we go. How are you feeling? Oh, you're all right. Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? Where is this? What's this nonary game? Come on, anybody, anything. What the hell is going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? Ah. It's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck, I've had enough of this crap. How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? <coughs> We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about. Let's get going already, go go. No, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Him? You mean the knife man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. Ugh. I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here. Alive. <laughs> uh, what's so goddamn funny? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, my apologies. You're just so very confident, I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The knife man's... The knife man's death it had nothing to do with a trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagined it did. Then... He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Mm. You still don't. Alright. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people could pass through one number door, right? And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Zero mm. said... To more than six people can go through. Everyone who verified had to go through, then only two people can go through. Well, it's obvious. More than six people. It was something about how more than six people could pass through. No, wait, that's wrong. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. That's what the letter said. In other words, no less than three and no more than five. Exactly. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a number door by himself. That was why he was executed. Uh, then Zero is watching us from somewhere? Making sure we don't break any rules? Oh, I'm not sh so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice. There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card. What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that! Huh? The hell is this? Oh, I see. This is Braille. Alright guys, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was f That was fun. What's so important about the card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A mess- a, a message? What does it say? Calm down now, no need to panic. You don't need to force me, I'll read it. Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead and of the bracelet. The red is the rec recognition device. It will verify. It will verify your number. 
Besides every numbered door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It doesn't. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the numbered door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I'm afraid this might be something of a surprise. I placed a small bomb inside of you and the people whom you are about to meet. You swallowed while you were unconscious. I have no doubt that by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. In other words, you'll be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. If after that time the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. This is to say, if you should pass through a numbered door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. Whoa. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. As long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You would do well to remember this. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelet. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or detects that it's where his heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you for a time. You would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Well. So it's saying only those who verify their number at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they've scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rule their judge, jury, and executioner. Ooh. Shit, a fucking bomb. Come on. Come, come out, damn it. There's a bomb inside me. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? It's a good question. Alright, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Hmm. Actually, I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, a surprise or something. I saw that too. I do it as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. The mask? It was really scary. Huh. So, all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claimed to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, I was just like the rest of yours. Okay, that's good enough for now. So I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. 
Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Uh, uh, really, it's really so hard to understand. She is correct, of course. Are you surprised? Well, well yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Uh, you went to school together. Yeah. Well, yeah. Heh. <laughs> I think maybe we could figure out who's... Is this... The damn who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? <gasps> ding ding. Ring a bell? Or perhaps you weren't... You... Perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. Millionaire? Son. Well, someone brought this, bought this boat and set up all this. However, Zeros, they must be incredibly rich. Or a thief. Well, we can't be sure of that. I mean, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What's... what's... what sort of organization? Could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. Psychology experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on, a guy's dead. I don't know who the hell this zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. This was all one guy, and he's got some serious issues. <clears throat> Running out of time. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough. All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find out our way out of here. Really sure you want to just sit around? We only got seven and a half hours left. We've already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure, we're not gonna be fun running around knowing we got. We gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid that you sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we follow the rules, we should have. Uh, we will most likely be alright. But. But what? Who's going to go and watch your door? Oh yeah, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Ah, ah, plot convenience. Because, um, yeah. There is no, someone had to get left behind when there was nine people. And then it would seem we have to split up. Wait, I'm telling you no, there's no way in hell that I'm going into door 5. Come on, don't be selfish. Tell me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Ugh. And we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door 5. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey man, I just... I just bought these shoes. You think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him? You got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Were you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Our first branching path is coming up. 
Left or right? Hmm. They both lead to the same spot. Okay. Interesting. So there's one, two, three, four, five different endings, I believe. <sighs> okay. Does it? Oh god. Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer. You're going, I'm going to. I'm going to door five. What am I going to do with you? Nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add Clover's four and my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four, blah, 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 five. Oh, it works perfectly. Four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital route gonna be? Lotus, Santa, and June, and me. Our breath is number eight. Blah, 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 blah. Math! Nine plus eight, that is seventeen, plus five is twenty-two, that's four. Four. It's four. And I put our four place of numbers and the digit root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah, huh? That worked out well. So the team... Uh... Should probably save... So the team assignment will be like this. Seven Snake Clover and Ace, they will go through door five. Lotus Santa Genemy will go through door four. Are these really are these really the teams I want? Ground door five is where it remains of the ninth man. Never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse. Let me just a little closer. Of course I went through door five. I won't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me, though. Door 5. Well, that, that'd mean she'd have to see that body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door 4? Should I stop them and insist on door 5? Alright then. Seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door 5. We're over there too, right, Snake? There's not going anywhere. Slow down. Hi, what's your door? Here we go. Now we save. Alright, branching path. Oh, branching path, branching path. What's the branching path? Which way do we go? Do we go left or right? I don't even know. Hmm. Let's just stick with Darfur. What's the worst that could happen? I'll go through door 4 with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. It should be fine, it's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. 
Looks like Ace and the others are going. Look at them go. No, then. Goodbye. Be careful. Blood. Ugh. So horrible. Hmm. I don't know what you guys... What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine, hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only runs open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. And we never saw them again. Hey, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Let me say something, will you? Something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelets. You think they're okay? Hey, there it is. That's gotta be the dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. The beeping stopped. Yeah, looks like it stopped. Hey guys, are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? Oh, Clover. Look, the dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the thing is gonna... but bl it's red? Oh, the other one's blue. Oh, right, that, it's just like the red. Medicating is the same, too. Awesome thing, that helps. Well, we should probably move on. You be careful out there. Roger that, Dad. Ugh, now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Run! Damn. It's counting down. I can't go back. We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is it? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. Don't tell me that that is in one of these rooms. Oh no. How many rooms do you think there are? Oh fuck. We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It won't open. Shit, that one's no good. Same here. It's not moving. Ah. There it is. In the hallway. Run. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, goddammit. I'm asking you how many seconds we have left. Hurry. It's the dead. Get over here. Come on, everyone. We did it. We're all alive. Ooh. Looks like it stopped. Another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole? What's this mark? Mail? No, exactly. It's probably a symbol of Mars. Well, technically they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. Symbols of the solar system. Oh, that's right. The Sun. Saturn. And Earth. This one's Mars. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the... Main, the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars. I think so, yes. Let's see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. That must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the... 
Maybe it's the room number. All right, um, let's go over to th three and four. We'll save in three and four. Yeah, I don't need to save in four. Three's good for now. But I do want to look at the flow. We have taken a path. Let's see. So I don't know if I can make it here today. Judging by let's let's aim for the midpoint. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has B92. The one on the right says B93. Alright, let's open him. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three. Huh? Uh, it opened. Yeah, it did. I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. I can't say I enjoy being, being, being treated like a someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. Alright. Okay. Oh, a new room. This is exciting. More puzzle. Puzzle. Here's the light onto the room. So, you, we're, we're on the top left there. There's a pot, bathroom, bedroom, couch. Two desks in the bedroom. There appears to be a really big shower in the bathroom, and no TV. Let us check the file. Nothing interesting there. Let us check the items. Let's see, a painting. This is kind of weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? Looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like nose. It's looking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I'd mind finding a little more about what goes on in there. It's kind of weird. Some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like there's room on the right side of the picture. What? I don't... What does that mean? I don't know, puzzle two, let's go. A pot. The vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you going to steal it? Hehehe. <laughs> Ooh. No, no. Uh, it's a display case, but there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty, too. A uh, matchbox. Matches. <laughs> it's a box of matches. I can light things on fire with a box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, how's your fever? Are you feel better now? Yeah, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh, guess it really has gone down. Are you worried about me? Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, come on, it's not like that. Oh, I gotta pick dialogue option. Let's see. I don't know, I feel like I have an unfair advantage knowing how this game ends. So yeah, I guess I am. Giggle. By the way, J oh, there's a t t ticking clock. By the way, Jumpy. Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There's a man. I looked at the window. I got- I walked home from my 9-to-5 job. It was getting late. 
I got off work at um, uh, like 8, 8 p.m. Made it home. I greeted myself and uh, saw the window was open. I thought to myself, huh, I must have left the window open. Ooh, there, there he was, looking in the, looking at me through the outside of the window. I was so scared I couldn't move, and then he walked into the window. I still couldn't move. He then threw tear gas, and I was so sad that I passed out because the tear gas made me cry. That's all happened. You inhaled some, you inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck? Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? Hmm? You wanna know? Don't worry. Only 18. Hmm? Times zero? Whoa, that's clever. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, I see. Anyways, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on deck D. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did zero put... Wait a minute. Did she say time zero? That is suspicious. I mean, why did Zero pick up pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any idea who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Well, if I had something to do, if I had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal, or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Good old Mrs. Um, nice lady. Ah, uh, Tampi, what are you doing? We don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. What? It's around. Wooden table. Hmm. I shouldn't sit on it. June will get mad again. Oh well, time to investigate the... That's a shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. It's the shower head. There's nothing special about it. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used... I used a shower once, so I know. I used a shower once, so I know. Um. I used a shower once. Yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to that guy. Goodbye, Mr. Bot Seller. There we go. Never again. Yeah, he used to... Yeah, whatever. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. Walls covered in square tiles. They've all got... Geometrics. There are curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. I 
It's a shower head. Feels dry too. That probably means no one used it in a long time. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtains. It's all it's in all its waterproof glory. There's nothing. Suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. A narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. This is awkward. Time to open the curtain. What about the toilet? Well, let's check the toilet. There's nothing there. The tank's empty too. There isn't even any water in it. Mm. The toilet paper. A collection of fallen, partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Hmm. You win today. Anything else in the bathroom? It's a wall. Yeah, there's something about this wall. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. It's not Morse code. Um, what could it be? Oh uh, yeah, why don't we go back to the living room? Okay, let's go back. And now we got the bedroom. Ooh, a jar. It's a bottle with water in it. This is the bedroom. You're probably happy here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know. My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Oh, well, we don't run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, do you want to take a shower together? Whoa. Just kidding. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. That isn't helping indeed. I doubt it will be that useful. Yo. Do you think June and Jumpy are gonna get together? It's a light. Even if it... It's... Even if it's heavy? That's... That's light. Yeah, there's um... It's comedy. This comedy is great. This isn't a painting. It's a map. It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it will be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Pressing that and A will learn some view. The ship is bigger than I thought. Yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro, even if it's just some sort of style choice. There's too much. Do you remember what Zero said? On April 4th, the famous Titanic creation of blah 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 blah. Me saying the blah. Do you think maybe this boat on the Titanic. Yeah, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there, is, there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is. the actual Titanic? The actual Titanic? You mean it like slipped through time and ended up here? Before the ship sunk on April 14th, 1912? Oh, what the hell are you smoking? <laughs> Did I get it wrong? No, 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 that's not... I mean, come on. Slip through time? Seriously? I was talking about the controversy surrounding the Titanic. Controversy? What do you mean? Haven't you heard of it? It's pretty famous, you know. The Titanic had a sister ship that was essentially identical. It was called the Olympic. Oh, yes. I have heard of that. I think I heard it was... Trump... Tr troubled by a lot of problems. And the company that owned, owned it didn't know what to do with it, right? So they made the Olympic up to look just like the brand new Titanic. That's right. 
They also took out a huge insurance policy on it before it set sail. That would mean the real Titanic never sank. Yeah, the ships got swapped. The real Titanic was renamed the Olympic in secret. I used it as a passenger ship for more than 20 years. Hey, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean in it retired in 1935? Oh, well, yeah. I guess sometime around then, yeah. Well, what happened to it after that? I heard it was dismantled. Dismantled? Then it doesn't matter, does it? Whatever about the real Titanic was, it doesn't exist anymore. It was either retired and dismantled or sunk in the Atlantic by the curse. But then that would mean that the ship is... Wait. What did you just say? Huh? Sink in the Atlantic because of what? The curse? What do you mean a curse? A curse is a curse. This one is the curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amon Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died, mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying that Titanic sunk because of that curse. That's right. Mm, that's stupid. I don't buy it. It's true. How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was a real mysterious... Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes, but she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, I get it. Okay, it's it's that thing. I don't remember the name. Where your body turns into some kind of wax. Yeah. A fat and it turned into something kind of like candle wax, right? And yeah, so saffonification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what is it? They say that she was frozen. What? Frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body, her body never melted. Now it's crazy. I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just don't know about- we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know. Yeah, maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh. No, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Well... Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert. Does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Ice. How do I check the map? Golden cupboard. There is there are cups inside, surprising no one. Bottle of water, that'll be useful. There's a bed. It's all light blue design on it. Someone made the bed at least. Never unmade it. Only bed sheet under the blanket, nothing exciting. How about the pillows? Bed frame! Now we don't have to worry. Now, now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn while I sleep. She's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? Looks like there's two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? Yeah, her fever's... Her, her, blah, 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 blah. I'm losing my voice. I can't say words. Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Huh? Hey, seriously, are you really okay? Bed frame... There's gotta be something under these pillows. Okay, how about... Uh, what was... Ah... Uh, uh, Oh, no, I think we covered it pretty well. Looks like that one was lame enough to get her to blush a little. Um... Like, uh, someone made this. For sure it won't fly off. Bed frame. 
Okay, I've looked through that all. How about a mirror? This is a mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Forget it, Jumpy. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. Looks like we found the key. And this key to the dresser. Chair. Nothing interesting about a chair. One needed a key. I don't know. Perhaps we'll call that good. Jumpy, where are you going? I was thinking of going over to the Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just going to go check up on them. There's something wrong with that? Oh well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll have the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room. It's a tile with a black and white pattern on it. There's a square, t square tile in this frame. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. Looks like a valuable base. Empty though. Seems to be room on the... okay. The room in the back is dark. Aren't there any lights? Hmm. This is a light switch, right? Sweet. I could use some light. Shoot, no dice. I think the bulbs burned out. Either that or the electric city to this room was deliberately shut off. I don't really give a crap why it doesn't work. It doesn't work and we can't do shit about it. It's way too dark in here to do anything. We're going to need some light. True, we're going to need... Doesn't look like the light can turn on. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something else that can light this place up. Like a candle. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. I know, if I used a magical light -like candle. Boom! Awesome, with the light from the candle, maybe we could take a look around here. But it gets so hot with when I hold it. I want to put it down. Well, why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there, at least. It won't fall over. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Hey. Got pretty bright. Now we can look around a little. What's in here? Dresser drawer. It's locked. Ah, uh, yes, it worked. We got a... tile. Strange design. Doesn't look like there are any puzzles in it. Okay. This is the mirror for the dresser. Damn straight. Nothing weird about it, though. Ah, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most beautiful of them all? Oh, it of course be Lotus. Crazy old bat. I guess that stress was too much for her. Say something. Nope, nothing. Is a candle sitting on the dresser? Doesn't respond when called. There's a picture of an old cruise ship. It is. Is it the Titanic? Curtains. 
Oh, it's got all these metal rings. Probably should... So you can hang it from somewhere. Yes, but it doesn't look like normal curtains. The way it feels, I think it's probably waterproof. Which would make this shower curtains. Shower curtain, huh? Interesting. Okay, so there's a hole in the curtain. Could it have been the work of a pervert? Who knows? Anything? Nope. No, a blanket. Two pillows. Oh. Pile of pillows. That's supposed to be some kind of joke. Hey, calm down. Pile of pillows. It's a bed frame. Whoa, there's a... Whoa. He, he was lying. He... Huh? Hey, what the hell? It's got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? Up of the candlestick. It looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. Like a key. I think I ran into a lock I couldn't open earlier. Too dark. Uh, this is a display case. Check it out. There's plates and shit. It looks really expensive. Wanna take a look? There is a glass door. It's locked tight. I can't get it open. Key, a key, huh? Oh yeah. Let's see if the candle key works. Yes, it opened. All right, pull that shit open. We got our second piece. Hey, don't you think the tile on the tile looks like something? Yeah, I think I saw it somewhere. Hey, Jinpei, you got a minute? Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? Heh. <laughs> You know, what I hate most in this world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, you see, each leaf of a wolf for the clover has a meaning to it, okay? Meaning of pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's... Not a flower, is it? So, leaf language. I guess, yeah, you could call them, uh, leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Meaning of the leaves on the... Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck. So, yeah, I want you to take it. Yes, touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, alright? Here. What do you want to do? Take it. Alright, sure, I'll take it. Man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? You really hate the those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? It's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. What? Worried about the, the four horsemen? No, nah, come on, that's just silly. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century, and I am a 21st century guy. 
I'm a little insulted. What do you hate for so much? Because it's a half-assed number. Not the best or the worst, that's why. What? Nine is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play. Play? Ah, oh, he means like the stock market! Oh, he means like the stock market. I'm just... Oh. Oh, that's not what I mean. Why the hell would you think that? I mean, yeah, I do stocks too, but... Are you a stockbroker? Yeah, I got a problem with that. No, you just... You don't look like the type. I Man, that stuff just like gambling, you know? All you gotta do is bet on the winning horses. Nothing that hard about it. You sure sound pretty confident. So you're betting on winning horses? Of course I am. I remember a couple of years back when the stock up for Cradle Pharmacies shot through the roof? Stacked a few billion bills over that, if I do say so myself. Uh huh. Hey, how long are you going to stand around wasting time? Stop screwing around. The lady has spoken. We better get back to work before we really piss her off. I don't want her beating me up. Anyway, we were done. Okay, okay, I'll get back to work. This looks pretty expensive. There are some pieces of expensive looking ceramics. A couple of pieces of art in here. Can't say if they're very good or not. Expensive plates. Okay, I get it. Covered is useless. Desk. It's around wooden table. Couch. Yeah, check this out. This is a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. Okay. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. This thing's a little shelf for putting soap on. That's a shower knob. I tried turning it, but no water comes out. Oh, look, Jinpei. There's a mushroom growing out of the wall. That's a shower head. There's a curtain rod on the ceiling. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's... There's a curtain rod along the ceiling. Let's put the shower curtain on these whole hooks. Let's try... Oh, that's pretty obvious people. Somebody's really dedicated. Well, with a hole this big, you gotta wonder if maybe they wanted to, wanted to be caught. So you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit? Maybe they were into, like, th those home invasion fantasies. Home invasion. Interesting, I see. You two are real idiots, you know that? Is there anything in the toilet? Guess not. I think something too. Toilet paper, we got two rolls, I guess. Interesting. Why can Oh, let's try. There's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from a ways back, I can see a single tile. Alright, from here I can see... What tile is it? Looks like it's... Fifth from the top and third from the right. Fifth from the top, third from the right. Hmm. Well, then that means... Child wall. They are... Ordinary everyday tiles. Oh yeah, there's another bathroom. <gasps> Fifth from the top, third from the right. 
Fifth from the top, third to the right. Fifth from the top, third to the right. What's up? You're going back already? Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. Mm. What, you think you're her knight or her protector or something? You're creeping me out. Whatever, man. I'm going. Fifth from the top, third from the right. Fifth from the top, third to the right. Fifth from the top, third to the right. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Here it is. Yeah, this one looks loose. I think I can get under this with my nails. Ah, uh, yes. Sweet. Who would have thought this would be hiding in the bathroom, huh? You did a good job finding You did a good job finding it. So one side has a design like the rest of the bathroom tiles, and the other side has the black and white design. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere before. Interesting. Oh, I gotta get a good look at this. I get it, yes, yes. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. How do I make this design? I'm gonna go check up on them. There's a tile. So I guess I'm supposed to put tiles in empty spaces. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. This goes like that. I did it. Yes! I did it! Picture! There! Picture! Complete! And there goes the frame! What? What's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. Like I didn't save or something, you know. Anyways, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. The Mars Key! Whoa, this is the, one of those Mars symbols. Door at the end of the hallway it has the same symbol engraved on the keyhole. Then that's gotta mean, yeah, we can use this key to get through the door. We can. Ooh, we just solved another puzzle. What's the deal with this picture anyway? I think I've seen this picture before. Where? In a book. There's a British buzzbub named Shell Drake. He has a rather interesting theory. I found this picture in this book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenic fields, which relies on the theory of morpho morphic resonance. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shapes of living organisms and their behavior pa patterns are transmuted through a field of non-visible through a field not visible to the eye. What part of that is difficult exactly? Alright, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepath? Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it is close enough for a simple approximation. Haha, <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yeah, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I am in no position to defend or condemn many things it said. It's probably just something latching onto the... to a... Uh, uh, it's a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I... Anyways, I saw a picture like that one in this book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning. That's it. What about you, Jinpei? It doesn't look like anything to you. Hmm, I guess it looks like... Funny or in... What do I see? Um. 
Giuseppe. Totally looks like one. What the hell is a funny rimpa? What do you mean, what the hell is a funny You mean you don't know? What the hell would I know? How could you not know? <laughs> this, this is just practically blasphemous. So you're sorry, I apologize to the funny rimpa. Goodness, you are such a rude woman. Yippee, are you just screwing around? Forget it, I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. See, like this. I would not have got that, so. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I don't see how that helps. TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify initially, but once you'd figure out the answer, you could see it as you couldn't see it as anything else. The two picture these two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier, let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So their experiment. First, they sent the picture to the other parts of the world outside the reach of. British airwaves to Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then in each country they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2 of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9 saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast a dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside which is a British TV this time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people, naturally. None of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Previous tests sat at 9.2 success rate. Not much of a change, statistically. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog went from 3.9 to 6.8, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There is no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What did it, does it mean? Oh wait, does this have something to do with that field or whatever it, it was that you were talking about earlier a field not visible to the eye so if more people know the answer then that information will pass through the field psych I was just kidding you really shouldn't take me seriously well I mean the thing I just told you about are true they really did happen but the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by they could have easily falsified them in the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Right, man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I really thought you were serious. No, of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Okay, right. <laughs> Alright, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Still not visible to the naked eye. Orphogenic field. Interesting. Let us, um, I'll save here. 
Where does this put us exactly? All right, let's go to the hallway. I'll go get June. You guys head to the door. Okay, after that. We don't have any reason to go back there, Jinpei. Come on. Yes, it's unlocked. Good job, Jinpei. Good, now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Nothing left in this room. I want to get out of here and back into the hallway. Hey, Jumpy. Where are, you, where are you going? Oh, uh, I was going to go get you. I don't know, Santa told me. Come on, let's go. Come on, Jumpy, let's go. Alright, let's go. The door. We did it! Woohoo. I think I'll call that good. Other hallway. Let's, um, save on four. It's <sighs> quite a lot of progress. Yeah. We have solved two puzzles. One person is dead. Eight people are alive. And we've split off into teams of four. Okay. So. I wonder what crazy, sh what crazy things happen next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, it's uh, I enjoy this game. I can't wait to do more of it. And that's um, all for me. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. This is Sigma, signing out.